Let's balance the equation for CrO3. This is chromium trioxide decomposing. So the type of reaction here is decomposition. We have one compound and then it's breaking apart into two different compounds here in the products for this equation. So type of reaction, decomposition. To balance it, let's count the atoms up. We have one chromium and three oxygen atoms in the reactants. In the products, we have the two chromiums. And we have three oxygens here and we have two here. So we have a total of five oxygen atoms. Probably best to try to get this to be an even number over here. See if that helps us out. So if I put a two in front of the chromium trioxide, one times two, that'll give me two of those. Chromiums are balanced. Three times two, that'll give me six oxygen atoms. So that doesn't solve our problem. This isn't balanced looks like we'll need to get an even number of oxygens here in the products. So why don't we put a two in front of the Cr2O3. Two times two, that'll give us four of the chromium atoms. Let's update the oxygens. So now we have two times three, that's six plus the two here. That gives us eight. Okay, well, why don't we balance the chromiums and see what happens there? So we could put four in front of the CrO3. Let's update all of this now. The one times the four, that gives us four of those. Three times four, that gives us 12. But we're getting close because the chromiums are balanced. Now we just need to figure out the oxygens. Here's how we can think about this. If we have six here, six plus some number, that's going to equal 12. And that would balance the equation. Six plus six, that equals 12. So we need six oxygens here. And all we have to do is put a three here. Now we have two times three, that's six. Three times two, that's six, that gives us 12. We're done, this equation is balanced. This was a somewhat challenging equation to balance. If you wanted to write the states, they would look like this here. So that's the balanced equation for the decomposition of chromium trioxide. The type of reaction is decomposition. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.